everyone, this is your girl Sully Sims and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. We're doing the Family Dynamics Challenge where we have to get to Generation 10 and each generation carries its own little secret. Well, it's only a storyline, not so much so a secret. So in uh, the very first one, which is what I'm doing right now, I... Uh, introduced y'all to Annie Smith in the creator sim video and let me just get her to start doing some some things a few little things I want her to start baking because she wants to be able to bake be able to do different little um cooking stuffs and this is actually I'm playing in Plumbella's um save file and it is a beautiful place. It is a beautiful place, guys. And this is where she is. We're in Windle... Not Windle... That doesn't make sense, right, guys? We're in Brindleton B. Windleton B, really. And we have the lot that is... Well, it's one of the smallest lot. I mean, we could have done um, free real estate for us to be able to go in and get a particular house but I kind of like the idea of her starting off in a small house and to be honest I prefer playing starting out in a smaller house as well it just mm -hmm. feels more um you know that that sense of growth it's just a little bit better for me anyway um in terms of when she gets married etc so for those of you who did not see the cast video of course I'm going to be linking it in the description box be sure to check it out and see uh, about Annie Smith so I'm going to go ahead and read again the um, requirements for this first generation um, it has to be a single sim which is her and um, except for that particular um, that particular thing that I just said I don't know why I'm so excited I'm truly 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 excited so I don't even know why I'm stumbling I'm making so many errors on this <laughs> on this voiceover guys um, free real estate. That's the only thing that needs to be on. That's the only cheat that we were allowed to use actually in this first go around. Um, for now, and then uh, that's basically it. I did do a renovation of the house. I'm using um what the wallpaper, uh, most of the wallpaper and some of the CC hair is from the Tiny Twavelers um pack, and that is a a pack. A CC pack that was done by um, Harry and Felix. Um, they just did a nice little CC pack. It's really nice. So I, I incorporated some of those colors um, into the house. The house was um, it was a lovely house, but it was like a really severe starter home. And since we could have done the free real estate, I just decided to update the house instead of um, anything else, really. So she, um, I was telling you guys, uh, each career and aspiration must be completed unless expressly stated otherwise. And for her career, she is a foodie. She is, um, going to be, oh, we have to join a career. She is going to be in the culinary path because that is what is required for the first generation. So, um, it's white picket fence, basically. That's the, the, the path that we were on. And um, her traits are... Oh, wait. Just one moment. We got to pick. We're going into culinary. Yes. Okay. Um, we work on that just now. Like, oops. I, I can't remember. All right, so she's family oriented. She's a foodie. She's outgoing and she's very domestic. And this is what is required by the the actual. Um, let's do something fun. You just don't I have autonomy on. I mean, is there nothing that you actually want to do for yourself? OK, yeah, so sit down there, watch some television. Um, so the first generation is white picket fence. She wants to get married young. She needs to have um, a husband sooner rather than later. She is a young adult. She does have some skills, guys. She has level two in baking, level two in cooking, and level two in dancing. Uh -huh. These are things that I started on um, before I started recording the gameplay. Also, um, uh -huh. we need to marry younger than our friends. 
we don't have friends yet but just marry as a young adult raise a bundle of children three to four is preferable and enjoy gardening and entertaining in my spare time um um yet you still devote a portion of your life to your hidden dream of becoming a master chef so the main focus is becoming a master chef but also it is um having a family because that is one of the biggest aspirations that you have and actually that is her uh, biggest aspiration become an adult and I spent a thousand dollars on kids stuff um, We already have some things. I don't know what it is that we have that's already at 500 but it's okay. That's fine. Um, I don't think I I don't recall buying anything for kids But it's all good and I think too um, This was initially like just a little storage room when I got the, moved into the house so I made it into like a little um office space for her not that she actually needs the office space but something you know a place for her to um to socialize when she needs to, to socialize and do a little bit of yoga i'd like to think that that is something that she um enjoys doing as well so there's that um she likes to bake and cook etc i think i'm going to have her do a lot of of um these things in particular but i also want her to go out there and um and meet people um etc she only has about 923 dollars in her household funds and that's left over from purchasing this house and um moving the stuff in she's finally settled into brindleton bay so we're going to to do this so yes yeah, so she has to go into the master chef branch of um the culinary career and she needs to complete at least five gold level dinner parties master the cooking and the baking skills which is why i got her started on this i didn't want to do too many of the skill building you know just initial um beginning phases of a sim life um on camera which is why she has some of them um already raised um she needs to marry as a young adult and stay happily married until either one of them dies she needs to have up to four children at least and maintain a garden with at least 10 unique plants including a cow plant now we started in winter and the main reason for that is because both my son and daughter voted on winter <laughs> so so we're a little bit be we're going to be a little bit behind in regards to um you know getting the gardening started and that's okay what i'm going to have her do it's 11 a.m on a monday morning let's see what time she has to go to work we can always have her go out and um okay she doesn't work today which is awesome so she what she can do is just go out maybe and and socialize with persons and see who and you know who we can meet i haven't been to i haven't explored much in brindleton b oh look oh look 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 that's perfect i didn't hear the bell ring um friendly introduction and i'll have them come in and that can be our first foray into meeting the neighbors etc it's pretty cold out and um of course um, can we invite them in how do i how do i do that friendly introduction and then let's go in here and the good thing is that she literally just baked some cookies um so that would be nice go in sweetie go in you're not dressed to be socializing outside and then just call everybody in can they can they do that now um wait 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 is it locked is the door locked no i think it's open so yeah so can i can i invite you guys in yes invite the neighbors in apparently we came to the door before it was time to come to the door but <laughs> maybe they were waiting for this one person to come but didn't we invite them in so who is this um friendly introduction i took off headlight if headline effects uh simply because i wanted to you know just make sure i catch a few wonderful screens but didn't you invite them in are you all going to just stay outside okay well in that case i think you need to change out of your your clothes and go into something a little bit more comfortable because it's it's cold 
Nukem Galang. Yeah, and invite them in. Invite everybody in. But at the same time, we do want to um, speak to everybody, make some friends um, as soon as possible, you know. And you're going to give me my cake. It is mine. Okay, so that way. Okay, so she has met Demi Sabowali, who is a young adult and a neighbor. Um, we've also met um, Katarina Lynx, who actually she is in the culinary career just like us um and we're co-workers so that's so sweet i'm just in the neighborhood for the first time i've already met one of my colleagues which is awesome and um then we've oh the other sisters they must be sisters or related there must be some related relation in in some way which is good which is good um i should have had something to to have um uh drinks as well so we're all just sitting on the porch i don't know why i mean i have enough space inside um for everybody to to be able to socialize properly etc but in the meantime well yeah so let's let's just get her i keep asking them to in, to be invited in and then they're not going in anyway can i go here oh, oh wait wait no i'll do chat here and see if how that works let's go can we go here and maybe they'll go in i really want them to go inside they're not coming can i i don't think that the door is I don't think that the door is locked. And let me just unlock it. Can you not come now? Anyway, guys, I guess they will come in when they're ready to come in. But when they go in, I really want them to. Alright, so we're not going to waste too much time anymore on it. We're just going to continue talking to them about different things we're not going to gossip yet um, um we don't know the cost of oh they're planning on going already well thank you so much for coming guys i really appreciate you coming over oh maybe i should have called to mail huh let me call to mail and see how that goes if they will um all come in but it looks like she loves the snow maybe yeah maybe she loves the snow and that's something that we can go for well it was really nice having you guys over i really appreciate you coming over and it's only about two o'clock so maybe um i can go somewhere yes they're going in which is great that's what i wanted in the first place anyway and i i still haven't gotten through telling you guys everything in <laughs> in this particular um what's supposed to be happening in this particular gameplay so yes so each generation is going to be um have its own storyline etc we're trying to go to 10 generations um of course i said before that the focus is going to be on um oops the focus is going to be on uh raising a family becoming a master chef doing some bit of entertainment as well as um increasing our gardening skill we do need to bake or uh, um and max out the baking and the cooking skill we can also choose to become um, to open our own restaurant if we would like you know um, that is a com upon completing level five of the culinary career you may choose to leave the career and open a restaurant instead and this guys I'm leaving it up to you to vote and tell me what you think if this is something that you think that we should do in regards to um, opening up a restaurant and um, just leaving the culinary career but I do want to go out there and try to get um, a husband as soon as possible. I don't think that it will be a case where, um, like, you know, she, she is so eager to get married, but I think that it is something that, um, she is very much open to and she really, really wants to, to do it. So that is what she's going to be, be aiming at, you know? 
So, yeah, that's what I think. I, I'm wondering too if this girl here is glitched because she hasn't put down the gift that she supposedly brought for us. But whatever, it's up to her, really. Um, I'm going to leave this out for just a little while longer, but I want her to clean up, even if she is going to have the guest. And that's just the type of person that she is. Um, she's very, I would think that she's a neat person, kind of like everything in its place type of, of, of person. I do want to try to go through these things and um, maybe I will have her just buy a few things and put it in storage quote unquote <laughs> just until um you know it's it's uh time to have the kids that's what that's what i think so we can uh, go ahead and just thank everybody for coming and did we no we can just say um time to leave i appreciate you guys coming but i do want to go oh i do want to go or maybe you know what i'll do guys um we will go somewhere wait 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 wait. i will put this away this away as well this one is glitched this woman and then i will take a travel and go to um maybe the bar i'll take these two with me i don't know where the other sister probably left but it would be nice to just go out. So they, they were like, oh, well, um, welcome to the neighborhood. How about we go on over to the bar and see, you know, what's happening down there. Maybe you can meet a few of the locals because everybody is just so warm and welcoming. What do you guys think? Um, well, rather, what do you think? And then they're just off to do that. So we will meet at the bar in just one moment. Okay, guys, so I said it's a bar and I guess it, it, it kind of is, but it's a restaurant more than a bar. So maybe we can go as a group and order drinks. Um, order drinks for the group. And I don't know why it's me who has to pay, you know, but <laughs> we're going to pay for the drinks. I mean, y'all invited me out. So I'm going to go like for fruity fizzy drink. That is one of the cheapest ones. And of course, we're looking at our funds because we practically just moved in. Yes, I want to get to know you guys and everything. But at the same time, oh, guys, there are guys around now. But um, he is probably just a little bit too um, bold and brave for me to be walking around without a shirt on in the middle of winter oh my gosh who is this guy who is he let me introduce myself to you <laughs> we are on the prowl guys we are so we don't even care we're not even apologetic for our behavior he looks a little bit older i don't i don't know that i like the way his beard is you know and we'll even introduce ourselves to this guy over here as well you know just as long as we meet the guy i don't think i like his face guys like look at him no we'll pass we don't want a friend well we, i shouldn't say we don't want to friend you we will friend you but we don't want you for husband we're not looking for you for, the, for that definitely i do like the looks of this guy but then oops it's zoomed out too far he's not too bad he's kind of cute but you know he's only the first guy that we've actually seen and then look at these guys over here like couldn't be bothered you know all right so oh he's just a waiter all righty so she's here she's socializing with the girls she's having a good old time this is where you know the fun starts and stops or whatever having our drinks and just having you know fun this is what it's supposed to be right oops I just went back oh look at the drinks the drinks looks good I kind of want some myself. And so we're about to end our very first episode. 
of the family dynamics challenge i'm excited for this guys tell me what you think this is so much fun she's gonna be having so much fun look this way chicky look this way oh she's talking to that guy yes <laughs> so guys yes like i said this is going to be where we end the first episode of the family dynamics challenge like i said i would love to know what you guys think should we continue with the career of the the master chef or just go ahead and open a restaurant when we get to level five i know we're still a ways off but i would still like to get your feedback from now i hope you guys enjoy it and i can't wait for the very next episode guys and i will see you then in episode two of the family dynamics challenge goodbye